Hello folks, Deborah Dakovich here with All Points Design, that's allpointsdesign.ca, and today we're taking a look at the Oregon State University Permaculture Template. Specifically, we're looking at the Polyline Tool. Now, the Polyline Tool will be a tool that you'll use quite a bit in working with the Google Slide because it allows you to create many different shapes with a single line tool. So when we're making our base maps, we want to be able to take, take care to ensure that they're is some kind of symbology. There's some type of icon for every element within the site. So if we take a look at the finished base map, I have taken care to ensure that all the buildings, everything within my property boundary is taken care of, including the asphalt and the concrete, uh, the buildings themselves, all the, the, uh, the plants, and to make sure that I have that all covered. Now, in this situation, the one thing that I don't have on is my property boundary. So what we'll do is we'll use this as an example to create our property boundary and we'll do it over top of our aerial. So over here, as we take a look at the line selections, we can go down to polyline. So again, this is just right of the circle and square, square icon and left of the comment section. And we click the polyline tool. And now we get a little crosshair. And this crosshair allows us to create points that we'll use to create our entire shape. So I tend to start in a corner. Uh, and so the corner of the property comes to here. And I know that the property goes uh, a little bit further than halfway in the garage and then comes over in a square and comes over to this fence. Now, if you haven't spent as much time as I have with this property on your property, chances are you're going to have to spend a little bit more time doing this work. Uh, but once you get a handle of it, you'll be able to put it together. And on curves, you'll want to make more points of reference because we're just going line by line. And then once I get to a straight shot again, I can come all the way back and it'll automatically link up with the end. So now I've got my property shape, but I need to turn it into a property line. So I'll take the selector tool, go over to my property boundary icon, click on it, highlight it, do go to my formatting tool and again, click on my shape. Now, because this is just a line and this is a poly shape, sometimes it doesn't transfer. So we can do it manually as well. We can go to fill color, transparent, make sure that the color is red. And that was actually the only thing that was need, necessary to change because it had taken that, it just still had a fill. Now that's a little light for my purposes. I'm gonna turn that into a four weight, click off of it, see if that that's good. It's kind of still a little bit light, gonna amp it up to eight. There we go, that's just fine. So I'm gonna take that, copy that, go on to my master and put on my, my, my boundary. Now, the great thing is, is that I've noticed already that it's a little bit off. So if I double click on it, I will get these little purple dots that allow me to actually just ever so slightly adjust where that property boundary is. And if I click off of it, now it is indeed complete. So that's the proper, that's the polyline tool and all of these shapes, all the grass areas, as we can see here, and I'm just gonna uh, send that, uh, order that uh, send backwards once or twice so I can get to some of the other pieces here. Send it backwards again, see if I can click on any of these yet, not quite. So instead I'm actually going to delete that just so I can get to these ones to show you. So this is, uh, this is an entire area, an entire section that I've created that is the mowed lawn on site. And in, in subsequent assignments, I'll take a look and, and do some identification to make sure that I'm clear about what that is. We have an entire back deck area. We have a, a wild ground area, which would be a zone four, zone five, when we get into the zone assignments. And those polyline tools is a great way to create all of the different areas. And that's exactly what I did for this um, uh, sidewalk area is I just created an entire polyline and then put it directly into my site. So polylines are exceptionally useful and good to have a command of so that way you can make sure that all the areas of your site are covered and we'll use them extensively in the microclimate and in the zone assignment, not to mention the final assignments as well. I'll see you in the next tutorial.